Okay, I'm gonna try and make an attempt to break down the concept of white privilege in a way that can get all of us to understand that. Um, okay, so I have seen the memes that say things like, white privilege doesn't mean that white people don't have struggles, it just means that your skin color is not one of them. I'm on board. But I've also read Peggy McIntosh's, you know, Unpacking the Knapsack. I've read it, I've assigned it to my classes. I've read White Fragility by Robin D'Angelo and Being White, Being Good by, by Barbara Applebaum. I've read the literature and that's not together. The, what the meme says is not what's in the literature. It's not. And I have been told and witnessed people saying, th you know, saying things like, you don't know what struggle is because you're white. You've had an easy life because you're white. Okay, white people struggle. And um, we have a lot of privileges. Wealth is a privilege, tremendously. Um, health is a privilege. I've talked about you know health issues that I've had. It's a lot of time I spent in the hospital. And that, it was a privilege maybe to have a bed, sure, but I wasn't feeling privileged when it comes to health in that way. In that way. Um, but white is one of those many privileges in many situations, but not even every situation is being white a privilege. I don't think it's a privilege being white necessarily in certain communities. I don't think it's necessarily be, um, an advantage to be white uh, when it comes to getting into colleges and things like that. So yes, white privilege is a thing in many situations, but there are lots of privileges. Now, the other side of that coin is, let's talk about white privilege. We're not talking about wealth privilege. We can talk about that in another conversation. We can talk about health privilege in another conversation. But if you wanna talk about white privilege, let's talk about that. And then we'll table the other conversations about privilege and we can have those conversations. But right now it's about white privilege and the legitimacy of that term. Okay, and the situations where it is legitimate. Um, you know, there are situations where, you know, you say, well, I have the same credentials as this black person, but they got the job or they got into college and my credentials are even better. And one of the responses that I get, you know, talking to uh, people that I really respect is they're just like, yeah, that sucks. And I go, but that's unfair. And they go, yup, it's unfair. And it's like, you got some shit splattered on your shirt. That's unfair. But I've been eating shit for years. Like, we have to recognize that, okay? This is my call to like white people. We have to recognize that we gotta eat some shit too. That to call out things that are unfair, I don't think that's good, but that's part of the process to get to where things will be more fair. We have to accept that. We have to, okay? Because shit is unfair. So we have to own some of that unfairness because other groups are getting that unfairness. We need to see that. That's part of what these riots are about. Um, I listened to a, uh, or I read, I'm sorry, an article by Cory Booker back when he was like 22 years old that um, was entitled, Why Have I Lost Control? And it was about him being, you know, graduating top of his class at Stanford, future senator, um, presidential candidate and Rhodes Scholar. So he just graduated and he's walking through Palo Alto and he's a Rhodes Scholar on his way to, to learn at Oxford for free. And he's just feeling pretty good about himself. And this is right on the Rodney King time. And then police officers pull him over, put his head on the hood, slam his head on the hood, put his hands behind his back. Like it doesn't matter if you're a Rhodes Scholar. Okay, that is the white privilege. Okay, now there are reasons why whether there is you know, higher crime in the black community, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. But this individual is what I'm talking about, okay? This is real. And Cory Booker's um, Why Have I Lost Control? I think you should read that. Um, you know, white privileges, I have taught in private schools and public schools. I've taught in the worst neighborhoods in LA and the best neighborhoods in LA, okay? Um, at the private school that I've taught at, um, a young girl, uh, died bit by just like, you know, like a car accident, like got hit by a car and it was all over the news and in the newspaper, okay? When I was teaching in East LA, um, a student of mine who was recovering from traumatic brain injury because he was shot, took him three years, he taught himself how to walk again, read again, 
talk again. And three years through that process, he was robbed. They told him to take off his coat. He went to take off his coat, but the right side of his body was limp because he's trying to get the brain to work again over three years. It took too long to take off his coat. He was shot and killed. It didn't even make the paper. That, now he was Hispanic, but that is an example of white privilege, okay? Um, because it is more rare, it happens. The white people die, poor white people, people in, in Appalachia or whatever, they die and they don't get news source. But more, if a white person is killed, it gets more attention. As broadly, you can always pick people out. You can always pick things out. You can always say, as I sometimes do, that Will Smith's kids, they're extremely privileged. True. But you can pick and choose. But we gotta zoom out and not look for a straw man argument. We gotta look at what is the norm. You know, I remember um, hearing about O.J. Simpson jurors, uh, you know, uh, who let him off. And they said, there's a um, black woman that I heard her say, she's like, I knew O.J. was guilty. But damn it, I just wanted to win one for us. And that is really powerful, guys. That is powerful. That sometimes you just want to win one and you don't feel like you've won one in a while. You start acting irrationally. And you start doing things that you're not really proud of because you want to feel like a, you want to get a win. You know, I think there were a lot of working class, hardworking, good, upstanding white people that just were tired of being told that they're privileged and tired of being told that they have an easy life and are working really hard and doing the right thing, just being grinding, just being victim, you know, like this idea that they're the bad guy in society over and over again, that they just, they voted for Trump and they just said, you know what, screw it. I want to win one. We have to let people win some guys. And you have to give that up. You have to give up some of that and say, you know what, I, you know, yes, I'll, rep I'll, I'll, I'll acknowledge that you need to win one this time. Okay? White privilege is a controversial issue and I want to have a conversation about it. This is the best way that I can explain this in a few minutes. Um, please put um, uh, comments out and stuff like that. I hope that this is the start of a conversation about this and I hope that I represented it um, best that I could. All right, take care.